Well, hey, this is Jeff Kinley, and I'm with my great buddy, Todd Hampson. We're the Prophecy Pros. We have this ministry called the Prophecy Pros, and we're traveling all over the country right now doing what we're calling pop-up conferences. And basically, the concept is that we come in on a Saturday and uh, maybe you bring in a couple of food trucks or whatever, and we just help equip you in the basics of Bible prophecy because we're living in a world right now that is gone mad. I mean, everybody can see it. There's so many disasters and chaos, so much confusion, uh, globalism, all these things are going on. And so what we do is we kind of sift out kind of the lies and the conspiracy stuff and get down to what exactly does the Bible say. And Todd and I cover four basic sessions uh, in a day, followed by a question and answer at the end. I begin the whole day by just asking the question, what is Bible prophecy and why should I even care about it? So I just go through what the Bible says about uh, its own prophetic word and uh, and kind of why that means so much to our lives today. And then after Jeff lays that groundwork about the basics of Bible prophecy, I come in with a message that's that's called What's So Amazing About Fulfilled Bible Prophecy? And we just look at some of the big, compelling, fulfilled Bible prophecies that should get people's attention from an apologetic standpoint and also to give us confidence in fulfilled Bible prophecy and the Bible itself. And right on the heels of that, I come back up and talk about what I call the times of the signs that we are living in uh, these times where we're beginning to see certain biblical prophecies in formation right now in our world. It's kind of like Revelation's prophecies are, are being seen. They're not fulfilled yet, but they're being seen. We'll talk about how that happens in our day and really uh, how we can discern what true signs of the times are. Then after that, people usually need a little bit of a brain break. So that's about the time we break for lunch. And that's when you have the pop-up trucks come or whatever other arrangements you make for food. People enjoy lunch, talk to us. We're there the whole time interacting with everybody. Then after lunch, I come in with a final message. That's how, how then should we live? Basically, what do we do with all of this stuff we learned today? How do we take this, put feet on the ground and take it out into the world? How does it affect our thinking? How does it affect our lives? And then lastly, what do we do, Jeff? Well, because all those messages spark a ton of questions, because we obviously can't cover everything in four messages. Uh, we have people write down their questions, and we just take however long it takes to go through those questions and answer uh, some of the curiosities that people have about Bible prophecy. Hey, is this a fulfilled prophecy? What should I think about uh, this that's going on over there? So we really kind of wrap up the whole day. And really at the end of the day, uh, people, this is the comment we're getting. is like, wow, that went by really fast. We're done about two or three in the afternoon and the day is over. But uh, people take home not only uh, books and materials, but also uh, a notebook full of great notes uh, concerning just how they can understand the times in which we're living. And, and really, the bottom line is, is that people leave with a sense of clarity, a sense of confidence, and a sense of hope. And it's sparking really these little mini revivals in churches everywhere, uh, from New York to Miami to California to the East Coast. I mean, God's just doing some amazing things. Uh, so it's a simple concept. We want to keep it very simple, uh, create much of a boutique experience as we possibly can. We want to meet people, get to know them.